James Melendez, James the Wine Guy, stay tuned for a video review of this beautiful series called the Lodi Native. It is Old Vine Zinfandel, so stay tuned. Thank you for joining me today. A beautiful wine before us. This is Old Vine Zinfandel. Really excited about this, and of course, it's a very bright day in San Francisco. That's a little bit of a cloud cover. The sun's light is bouncing off the clouds coming into my uh, living room, which is great. Really enjoy that. I do face north, so I get very little light advantage, except for these rare times in San Francisco where the light is just perfect. And um, you know, I get a great view of downtown, which is really nice, so I'm not gonna complain about my northern exposure. Here we go with this wine, absolutely stunning. Lodi Native is uh, a project of six producers and they're focusing on one area, these old vine Zinfandels, and I think it's a really great heritage because I think this is a, a prime region. Uh, you know, I like to really dispel the myth that all Lodi wines are the same or that they're low quality or high production, low quality. I think you have some really sterling, outstanding producers who care about everything they do. And I think Lodi's really worked extremely hard to uh, put that into focus. Um, you know, Lodi rules, I think there's so many things that Lodi is just um, you know, bringing out, and I think it's a great place to focus in on not just for Zinfandels but other wines. But this series is all about Zinfandel, and that makes me very excited because I get an expression and to taste through all these wines that are really beautiful. So there's six wines in total. I have five of them. So here we go with the first. So this is uh, Marion's Vineyard, and this is um, by Saint Amant McCallany River 2012 Vintage Zinfandel Old Vine, of course. Now this vineyard was planted in 1901, it's about 8.3 acres, and this wine is expressing itself at 14.5% ABV. What I love about bottlings like this, I think it's really important to highlight old vine. And uh, you know, for me, I think it's, you know, there's maybe not a single characteristic that can be identified in terms of what is old vine. It just tastes different. And uh, you know, I think that is the, the beauty of it is I'm being able to taste a bit of the earth from a colony river. I'll show you on a map where this area is located. And uh, it is, uh, you know, the earth is expressing itself through Zinfandel and Old Vine Zinfandel at that. So you're getting a different characteristic altogether. So not all wines are created equal, and that's fine because we wouldn't want it that way. Uh, so here we go. I want to show you on a map where this area is located. And it is really in the heart and center of the city of Lodi itself. So um, sorry about the reflection here, but if you go. Uh, in this area right here, this is Lodi, uh, the city, and that's a McCallumney River. And I think a lot of people, you can see, look at all the water influences here. And I think that is to dispel the myth that all Lodi is hot all the time, uh, and that uh, you know it's just it's not Napa, it's not Sonoma. Of course, it's not. But I think that is the beauty of this land is that it's very different. It's not going to be that blazingly hot um, region. And I think that is the beauty of it, is to find the nuances and the characteristics that make these wines very, very special. So here we go with this wine. Scent characteristics as always, flavor profile, and then the point score. Okay, so this is just giving some beautiful characteristic, uh, gorgeous scent notes on this wine here. Notes of black plum, red cherry, underbrush, cedar, uh, autumnal stone fruit orchard. So here we go with the flavor characteristics. Mm. Notes of red, black, cherry, plum, cinnamon stick, allspice, and sweet fennel. I give this beautiful wine a 9.3 out of a 10.0 scale. You can think of it as 93 points out of 100 points. Now, this is uh, part of St. Amon, as I mentioned before. The winemaker is Stuart Spencer. Uh, I think he's producing some beautiful wines. And I'll give more information on the producer as well as a Lodi native project. And uh, if you like this video review, please give a like right here. Subscribe to my video channel right here. I'd appreciate that very much. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for this exciting world of wines that uh, I think is just an amazing time to be alive in this great, lively time of ours of the beverage art forms. So stay tuned for more. Thank you again for watching. Salut.